Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise Carew and I am your Ascension mentor. <laughs> and I'm here to help you see where you're at as far as um, the Ascension process. Where are we at? We have all these energies that are coming in and people are feeling new symptoms and um, really things are starting to heat up. Uh, you know, you're watching the news, you're seeing th how things are heating up in the news and it's just kind of crazy. And um, so today I thought, well, March is, is going to be tomorrow. Let's see where we're at as far as our ascension and um, little guidance. So what are the things that we need to know from spirit um, that can help us further along our ascension, the event, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull out three cards and I'll let you pick one of the three cards and it'll just give you a quick message about where you're at, what you need to do as far as our ascension. It's always nice to know, you know, uh, is there something I should be doing? Is there something I need to know? Is there a block? Um, is there something I shouldn't be doing? So let's see what the cards have to say about this. So, I'm going to pull the cards up here and so we got the first card, card number one and I have a, a rainbow um, boji which is supposed to be extraterrestrial but so we're going to put rainbow boji with the first card. The second card I have my crystal wand my healing crystal wand and then the third card I have my celestite so of the three cards quickly pick one usually the first one that comes to mind we don't want to spend too much time deciding because all we do is go back and forth so what was your first even before I even started uh, telling you what what the crystal was with each card you probably already had it in your mind you know which card okay so Let's start with card number one and the rainbow boji. Desert. Okay. Vision quest. All right. So for those of you who picked this card, what is the message for you? What is it that you need to do to further along your ascension? And vision quest. Usually what is it, what is it when we want to do a vision quest? We're out there, we go out into nature, don't we? We go out into nature, we spend time in nature alone. Uh, we don't want any phones, we don't want any music. We just want to be out there in the middle of nature, enjoying nature and uh, really, really connecting. And uh, it, we're always after the answer to a question when we go out there, right? And you go out and you wait and you sit in silence and, and you meditate and you meditate on one thing that's been on your mind for a long time and you wait for what comes uh, what kind of sign you know some people see visions some people will be lucky enough to get animals that will come along um, you know could be a falcon that would fly across while you were sitting out there or even a blackbird or um, any of those things, a coyote, um, you know, so it's all about getting back into nature and taking the concern that you have, the question that you have, out into nature with you. We're not grounded enough, people, the people who drew this card, you're not grounded enough, you're not, um, you're really not connected to that the natural realms 
You've forgotten about the natural realms. You got all caught up into your phones and the computers. And, you know, I keep saying this all the time, listening to everybody, you know, and all uh, what everybody else has to say. But it's another, it is another card that is telling you that it's within you. Everything you need is already within you. But there's, you can get a little help from nature by going out and spending more time in nature. If you're already in the city, I mean, try to find a park or even a little area in your backyard. Uh, anything you can do, uh, spend a week and say, hey, that's it. This weekend, I'm going up, going out in the country. If you're me, you know, you're, you're going to come up by me in the mountains, um, you know, find some water, uh, a body of water. Um, so this is all about reconnecting back to nature. Because that's where, you know, that's where a lot of um, guidance is. You know, the guidance is there and you get a lot of insight from nature. And um, the animals can tell you what it is you need to, to do to further along your path. Um, you know, take along, um, and the Animal Speaks book by, uh, is it D.C. Andrews? There's two Andrews, uh, no, D.C. Andrews. Anyways, Animal Speaks, you know, so whatever animals... Uh, you find, um, you know, find out the meaning. So, <clears throat> you know, the vision quest, the going out there, leaving everything behind and connecting with nature and using nature. Um, for those of you who have indigenous backgrounds, reconnect to the ancestors, your ancestors, and um, really do some meditating. And the answer is there. The information is there. It's already there within you. So that's what this card is, is, is talking about. Okay. Card number two with the crystal wand. Oh, cave. Sanctuary. I thought I... Did we pick this one before? I don't remember. Okay. So cave and sanctuary. Here we go. We see an indigenous fella here. You know, one of the ancestors. What's he doing? He's in a cave. And once again, what's he doing? He is putting out the information. He is, he is creating art. He's putting on the inside of the wall. He's in a place where he feels safe. And you can see he has a little fire. Let's see, where's the fire? In this corner, he's got a little fire. And in the background, it's either dusk or dawn. I'm, I'm not really sure. But he's in this cave, and he feels safe and secure enough to really... Um, put out the information that he already knows. And so it's it's all about you guys finding your sanctuary, finding your place where you're safe and um, a place where you can express who you are without uh, being vulnerable, without um, feeling like somebody is going to um, call you out. Uh, so it's all about finding that safe space and you know, it could be going out into nature too. I mean, this is another nature card. And isn't it all, isn't it what it is all about? Our ascension is we're actually doing this because our planet is doing this. We are taking the ride with Mother Gaia. And um, so this guy has got a lot of information that he wants to share and he's leaving it in a safe space that he knows where somebody else who's ready for that information will come and find it. And you could be one of those people that has information and you don't feel like you are ready to give that information. We all have information. Every single one of us has our own journey. We have our own inner information, but a lot of us are feeling like, oh, I'm not ready to get out there and tell the world what I know. Um, so, you know, it can mean start a blog. I, I think I've said this before. I think I pulled this card before. And um, so it's not surprising that this is coming up again. It's all about getting that information out to others. It is doing your job. We came here to help others. Um, you know, the star seeds, what are they, why are they here? You know, they're here to help. Um, and they have the information that others are needed and others are waking up and looking for the information. And so you are one of those people who will be out, um, you know, helping teach and helping to 
um, answer the questions that the people that are waking up now uh, have. And you might not think that you have all the answers, but believe me, all you have to do is open up your mouth and start talking. It's just like when I do this stuff for so many years, I'm not going to do this. I don't know enough about these cards. That's not what it's all about. It's about picking the card, looking at it, and just opening your mouth up and start talking. And so that's what they're telling you to do. Um, it's time. You're safe now. You have sanctuary, and it is time. You're being called to finish your job. Okay, card number three. We have the cel Celestite. Ooh. Hmm. I think I picked this card once before. So it's interesting because these two cards have come up before in messages for, you know, us star seeds, everybody that's on this journey right now. And so it seems to be a recurring theme that's going on right now. <coughs> and it does make a lot of sense to me. It really does. Okay, so we have the volcano. Volatility. And once again, it's telling us people. Um, what happens? You know, we got the, the volcano and it's erupting and the volcano and I think this is from Hawaii and the goddess there in Hawaii is the goddess Pele. And, um, you know, this is kind of the rise of the goddess. It's returning into the time of the goddess. The goddess is returning for those of you um, like me who follow that path. It's a message for you that yes, the goddess is returned. 2020, this decade, is for all of you like me who are on this path, the goddess path, the witch, um, you know, that type of person. It's time for us to not be afraid to come out of that broom closet. And there should be no issues anymore about this. Anybody that's on the ascension path, they should already know that there's nothing wrong with this and with the wrongs that was done to people like this because you yourself, if you are a star so you've come back here many a time, many a lifetime and you've been misunderstood and you've been branded the bad witch. They've taken that word and turned it into something really bad and horrible and the ones that did it are the ones that are the, the elites, the controllers. They wanted to take the heat off of them for all the bad deeds that they're doing, that they've been doing to keep us controlled um, and put it on the star seeds. And, you know, centuries ago, they didn't know anything about star seeds. They did. But, I mean, they didn't really know that a lot of the people that were coming were star seeds themselves. We've been coming for centuries. And so to take the heat off of them, let's put it on the star seeds. You know, let's turn a word around. Mean, the witch just means wise woman. Let's turn it around and make it dark and evil. And um, so this card, this is what they're telling me about this card, is that it is the return. It is the return of the divine feminine. And it is no longer a bad thing to, to be called a witch or to take that path, the path of the goddess. Um, and so when, when the uh, volcano erupts, and is spewing out the lava. What does it do? The lava spreads. And, and, and of course we have a volcano on Hawaii, so all around Hawaii is water. And so every time this volcano erupts and spreads, what is it doing? It's making new land. It's making a new world. It's rebirthing. It's renewal. And so that's what this card is saying, that this is what's happening now is we are rebirthing a new world. We are making a new planet, new land, and it's coming through the goddess, and it ha it is connected to this planet. So that is what this card is telling you. So for those of you who pick card number three, that's what it's telling you, that it is time for you to really um, reconnect to that divine feminine within you um, and really seek out the goddess and that, you know, you've been doing this job for centuries and lifetime after next and it's in, and for you to hide in the closet, closet, that's not what it's all about anymore. It is time to come out and um, share who you are and share your life 
and uh, your life and your light and uh, because you have a lot of knowledge too um, so have a lot of knowledge have a lot of knowledge have a lot of knowledge inside you're going to reclaim that knowledge now it's time for you to go out and get and reclaim that knowledge so you too can to spread it so it's all about us coming in here um, those of you who are watching this you you came you came here to do this job at this very important time in life so you know it's just saying that it's time for us to get out this is what we've been waiting for the people that are waking up now um, are going to need us they have a lot of questions they're gonna be looking looking for people like us and for us to sit back and go, I'm afraid, or I don't think I have the right information, or, you know, if I say what I think I am, somebody is going to roll their eyes at me. That, that time is gone and done now. It's time for all of us to get out there and share what we have and what we know. And so, you know, that is the messages for us um, for this very beginning, this ending of February. 2020 in the beginning of March 2020 and so it seems like we have a little bit of a recurring theme here and of course it makes a whole lot of sense doesn't it it really makes a whole lot of sense because we all know we've come here to help and um, some of us have come here to help the planet some of us have come here to help humanity some of us are not sure but those of you who are not sure you have the message of what it is you need to do so all right, that's it for uh, today, and thanks for listening. And if you really uh, resonate with any of this, feel free to subscribe. I'm just a small channel. And um, we will look forward to talking to you soon. All right.